All right, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. In the last episode, we repaired a customer's F-350, but it wasn't four-wheel drive, and so we took it to the off-road course, and it couldn't get up a hill to save its life, which is pretty interesting. Today, we're gonna do a different customer job. Actually, was that a customer job last time? Yeah, no, I think it was. I think it was. I didn't buy that. The F-350s are super expensive, so. Um, but today, we're gonna do another customer job. We've got a customer's Porsche 911 RS. And America? America. RS America, I couldn't remember America, RS America, RS America, whatever, uh, in for repair. So we've got some issues here. We need to replace all the filters, so fuel filter, oil filter, air filter, no big deal. We've got timing work that needs to get replaced. We've got both chains need to be replaced. We've got uh, a couple time timing chain shoes that need to be replaced and some camshaft bearings. So I'll be pulling the engine out of the car to do that work. Uh, we're gonna repaint the car in stock color and we're going to repair or replace body parts. So usually I do the engine stuff first, but today I'm gonna do something different and we're gonna do the body first. Cause I, I don't know, it sounds fun. So the current color is uh, copper, brown? It's like copper, yeah, it's like copper. And the factory color is gonna be white. So this is gonna turn from copper to white, but first we're gonna fix the body panel. So let's start there. Uh, front left fender, front right fender, left tail light, Left headlight, right tail light. So we got all the lights except for the left tail light. Nope, except for the left, right, right headlight. Okay, everything with the right headlight as far as lights go. Uh, okay, let's do that first. Let's do both fenders. Oh, that takes the headlights with it. So, well, okay, nothing I can do about that then. Uh, uh huh. And then there's those. Okay. Let's see what else. Uh, let's see. Front window. Did I miss something? No, we're good. Front window, both body window A's, left, front left door window, left side mirror, front right door window. So, uh, okay, so all of the glass here and here. And then I think it was also front window. Yeah, yeah. And then we need the left mirror. And I think we're good. I think we're good at that point. Uh, it does not say to fix the body. Like, so we don't really need to do the body part. But I, I'd be... I, I really enjoy the welder piece of this, even though it costs me $1,000 to do it. And I don't have to do this again, because it, it, it's not asking me to do it. But right now, like, the global body condition is 10%. And the frame condition is 13%, which makes me very sad. And so if I do this... So it cost a thousand dollars, but kablam! Look at that frame condition 100%, and it's so pretty now. So I don't know. I didn't have to do that. It's not part of the job. It's sort of a little. It's a little extra. It's a little. You know, the the extra you get when you come to the JVN garage. Uh, it's you know, it's customer service, really. That's what it is. Uh, now let's assemble. I'm gonna assemble just the the couple things that actually let me assemble, which is my new well repair, my new uh, my new fender, and then I think the the mirror is also another thing I got cool that does not match which is which is weird like that's the one like body panel that does not match uh okay so it's our right headlight that is okay and then the rest needs to get that all this other stuff needs to get fixed yeah so the the right wait no the right headlight really no no, no that can't be right that can't be right which headlight i keep i keep forgetting the right headlight is fine what how the right headlight. The right headlight is in worse shape than the left headlight. How is it okay? That is super weird. I think I'm just gonna replace both headlights. I know, again, I don't have to probably do this, but I don't get how the right headlight is fine. It's very, that's very confusing. Okay, 911. 911, we don't want the Carrera, so how about America? Can I do that? Yes. All right, we're gonna grab both door windows. We're gonna grab our front window. Right door window, body window A, body window A, headlight, headlight, tail light, tail light. We need our right fender, and then I think we're good. I hope. Hmm, guess we'll find out. Here's our new one, unpainted. Here's our new front right headlight, which I didn't need to replace, but I just, come on, it's like, what? Might as well. This is how you retain customers, folks. You, you do the work that you're not being paid for. It's also how you probably drive your business into the ground. <laughs> but I have 300 grand, so I feel like, you know, it's it's working. We're doing okay. Okay, are we good on the body then? We are good. So that's the body. Let's go ahead and paint it since we're doing things in 
reverse order. And then we'll bring it back here, we'll pull the engine out, and we'll see what we can figure out. Oh, and there's one other thing I'll have to look at actually here. So there's one other thing that, uh, that we're going to have to figure out. The only thing that's unknown in this car is the tapping sounds from the engine bay. It's going to be a single part associated with creating tapping sounds, uh, which, is, which is great. But uh, hopefully it's nothing too complicated. Like I hope it's not like the crankshaft, because that means we're pulling the entire engine apart. So we're going to just hope that doesn't get too complicated, but we'll see. And maybe it'll be something with the time. Maybe like an idler? That's possible, right? I think that's possible. Okay, let's paint this anyway. Uh, we're gonna go, so the current color is copper, but we're gonna go to factory color, which is white. Those rims look terrible. It makes the body damage look so much worse. You should have just stuck with the copper. But I've been told to paint it the factory color, and that's what you're gonna get. It makes the rust look so much worse. Good, good. Okay, so let's get it back to the lift. And we're gonna pull ev we're gonna pull the engine out. So first we're gonna get the car up in the air, we're gonna drain the oil, we'll disconnect the transmission, and then we can pull the engine out, put it on our stand, and then we'll figure out what's going on with the timing and see if we can figure out what that tapping sound is, eh? Let's figure out that tapping sound. Tippity tappity tippity tap tap. Uh, we're also gonna do an air filter, which will be up top, but we can do that later. It's not super critical to do it right now. Uh, let's pull our engine oil out. We should probably do that. Yeah. Actuate drainage. Go. Thank you. Good job, Mr. Oil Drain thing. You can go away now, and then we can work on uh, disconnecting this engine, which means we are going to have to remove the wheels. Yes, we are. Vintage Tire B. Okay. Nice. And then we'll just need to get the drive axles out. And then, we'll, then at that point, we're free. So we just need to do that on each side. Just the way that this this car works because it is rear engine rear wheel drive so we have to take the wheels off to get this done uh okay so we're good there now the transmission will be good to come out once we get the starter off oh yeah i forgot we have to bring it down you don't always have to bring it down sometimes you access the starter from actually most of the time you access the starter from so i like the floating porsche porsche badge here i'm not really sure what's going on is it a ghost so I have to somehow, I'm not sure how I'm doing it, finagle myself down. I have no idea how you'd get to this from the engine bay. I think you would definitely want to come from underneath for this, but whatever. Uh, we could also look at our air filter box, I guess, since we're here. Oh, here's a fuel filter. That's going to get replaced. Oil filter. That's going to get replaced. Those both look pretty crummy. And then we might as well. We'll just pull, we'll just pull the air filter box for it here quick. So it's held on with four. Clip A is clip B. Eh, clip B, not clip A. And then we can remove this cover. And then we've got our air filter B6. So that's everything filter-wise that will happen. But we can put it back in the air, we can remove the transmission, and then we will be pretty much free to get the engine out of the car. This is a super interesting engine because it is a, uh, a flat, is it flat? It's a flat six, yeah. So it's a, I pulled it apart once, like in a different video, and it was pretty fun and pretty cool. So I'm hoping we aren't pulling it apart today completely. Like we really don't need to pull it apart. We just need to get the, um, we really just need to get the timing stuff. And then I'm hoping we'll, we'll find some ticking noise generating parts in that process though. I don't know why it's taking the crane to the front of the car because the engine is in the back, but it's okay. Somehow life finds a way. Okay, we'll put it back on the car. Okay, so there we go. It's on the crate. On the uh, the stand, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and pull, start pulling this timing stuff apart. So, let's see. What do we have? Oh, I have to look at the car to see this. Okay. So, we know uh, tapping sound. Oh, we figured, we have somehow, we have somehow identified that camshaft is the cause of the tapping sound. By removing the engine, we've somehow identified it, which is weird. I'm actually really surprised by that. I'm not sure what's up with that. But okay, that sort of like reduces some of the drama, I guess. Uh, so the tying parts, we have both chains, we've got a shoe, two shoes, two bearings, and then one of the camshafts is gonna be bad. So, but that won't be that bad. Cause I think actually, can I, can I go to that? Oh, I just thought I could hit three, but I guess I can't. Uh, once we get the timing so apart, we'll probably be able to see which camshaft is causing us, causing us trouble. So, okay, let's pull our belt off. Wow, I forgot how many belts, how many serpentine belts are there. There's three serpentine belts. Okay, so we need to get the timing covers off. I can't even, I'm not even sure if I needed to remove the serpentine belts to get the timing covers off. Okay, so we'll be able to remove our shoe. 
We know both shoes are bad. We know both chains are bad. We know that a camshaft bearing is bad. And now I'm like, where is the camshaft bearing actually? Is that going to be a bigger teardown? Please no. Please no, don't do this to me. Please no. Uh, okay, shoe. And I don't think... Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, okay, which camshaft is bad? Are you not going to tell me? You're not going to tell me. Haha. -ha. You will tell me. Okay, that's our bad camshaft. Now, but I have a camshaft bearing. That camshaft two, both camshaft bearings are bad. Camshaft bearing. That's going to be the hard part. I think that's going to require, well, the heaviest teardown. Well, we know we have to get this camshaft out over here. So let's, let's work on that. And to do that, oh boy. Yeah, this is going to be a little more involved than I was hoping. Let's remove both of our valve covers. Okay. Yes. Remove these. And see exactly how far down I have to get to get... Okay, camshaft bearing is this entire assembly. Okay, well that is, that is now red. It wasn't red before. Okay, so that's not terrible. What is preventing me? Oh, I have to remove this entire uh, this entire intake assembly. Well, that does make sense. It is bolted straight through it. So, oh, the blower's coming off. The air filter cover, the throttle. These all are coming off without any bolts until here. So that's that's pretty easy. And I might have to remove this fuel rail as well. Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, fuel rail is going to pull out. Intake manifold on this side is going to have to come out. Okay, it's not terrible. It's not horrible. Like, I'm not going to complain. We aren't going to have to get down to the pistons or anything. So it could have been much worse. Just a little bit more involved because of kind of the way that things come together on this engine. What is preventing me? What is stopping me from removing you? I don't see what's highlighted red. Is it the power steering pump? It's not highlighted. Oh, it's in here. I need to remove the radiator fan, how long with a single bolt, the alternator, the weirdest alternator ever, oh, the whole entire fan cover, and still I have to remove the alternator. I'm not sure exactly why that needs to come out, but it does. Seems like it could maybe come out with that. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna have to do this on both sides anyway because we gotta get both of the bearings. But there is the bearing. So the bearing's out, and then there's the camshaft out. Good. So now we do the same thing over here. And we're just going to remove the bearing, not the camshaft. And then we'll be assembling. Things will be happening. Okay, so let's see what we can repair. Uh, our gearbox, which is not something I'm supposed to be repairing, but I'm going to because I have a very good chance I'm going to repair this successfully. Basically, same thing with all of this. I don't need to be doing this. I don't need to. We don't need to do this, but we're doing it. And I cannot repair the any of the stuff that I needed to repair. Okay, let's uh, get rid of some of this body stuff we already did. Yes, good. All right, uh, engine. Fuel filter, oil filter B6. That's all going to have to happen. Air filter B6. And then timing chain shoes, timing chain A and B. Uh, where are my camshaft bearing? B6C and another B6C and then a camshaft B6C. All right, uh, so we'll do some damage by typing ideally B6 in here, and then we can get our air filter. I think it was just B6. <laughs> B6, get your B6 vitamins, kids. I have no idea what I'm saying. Uh, oil filter B6. Yep. Can I get a couple timing chains? Timing chain A. B6C, B6C, that's right. We want two timing chain shoes, B6C. Uh, what else? Where's my, where's my camshaft? Probably up in the, you know, letter C, because it's alphabetical, or is it not? Is it not, a, it's not alphabetical, is it? I don't know, I thought that. Where, where, where am I? Camshaft, aha, B6C, yes. And then two of the bearings. Is that it? I think that's. I think that might be it. I think, I think that's it. Let's just let's start putting it back together. Where am I? Let's go over here. Uh, let's start putting this back together. So, assemble. Oh, fuel filter. 
Yep. Generic fuel filter. No, that did not work. That did not work well. Oh my gosh. Let's not do that. Let's do fuel. That's better. A better search term. Okay. For... Mm, yep, that's... Not really... Don't really want to take a photo right now. Enter the assembly. Enter assemble mode. Okay. Fuel filter. Power steering pump. Apparently can go here bolted into... Oh, okay, cool. It's bolted into that. Nice. Uh, Alright. Camshaft bearing on both sides. And then we can put our covers back on. It looks like almost... Un it's like unrecognizable. It looks so different. It's beautiful. We repaired those covers as well, so they're very shiny. Things look quite nice in there. We can put our gears back on. We've got our new timing chain. We've got our new timing chain shoe. Held on with a single bolt. And then our timing chain cover can go back on, which we did repair. Things are... Parts of it look good. Parts of it still look bad, but we're still... We're going above and beyond. Here's our new camshaft, B6C, that we can do our gear, our chain, and our shoe on this side. So with that, once we get the bearing, I think we've replaced all components that needed to be replaced. Yeah, excuse me, let's get on there. There we go. Get our new head covers back on. It's interesting it's letting me try to put that intake manifold cowl on before I bolt this in, or maybe, hmm. no, yeah. Okay, no, that actually makes sense. Nope, super possible. Okay, go like this. This is such an interesting piece. Like, is this, I don't know if this is plastic or what this is, like what this was, I don't know. Our super weird alternator, the fan, very unique, good to go. And then we can get our intake manifolds on each side, which will be bolted in. The rest of the intake assembly is basically just going to kind of like slap on there once we get both the manifolds in. Which is fast and kind of interesting. But So there we go. Get those in there. Then we can put our fuel rail in. Injecting fuel right after the intake manifold feeds air. We've got our blower throttle assembly here. It's a pretty big assembly air filter box. We could put our new air filter in. We could just do this here. Even though we took it apart in the car earlier, we can assemble it here. Put our new clips. They aren't new. Our repaired, brand new, like super shiny, wonderful clip bees that I fixed with spit and a hammer. And our fuel rail on this side. And then our ignition wires that are kind of all over the place. They could need to zoom out. Please, game. Let me zoom out. We can put our serpentine belts back on. All three of them. They were fine, so they're going back on. And then that's the engine. We'll have to put the air filter or the oil filter back in when we get back in the get the engine back in the car. But that should be everything. Let me just do a double check before I put it back in the car. Make sure this all makes sense. Camshaft we did. Uh, yep, that's fine. Yep, we got both chains, both shoes, both bearings. Pretty simple. So let's pull it off the crate. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I'm, I'm not sure. What am I doing? Pull off the stand. Pull, put, install into the car. And uh, let's go ahead and put our oil filter in. It just, you know, kind of screws into the side. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but it's fun. It's kind of neat. Um, and actually... While we're here, let's go ahead and put oil in it. This has got a super interesting like oil fill. It's got this separate tank over here that's like built into the frame, like in, into like the internal engine bay, which is really fascinating. So we're using a hard stone filter, uh, oil filter. You know, it's only the best hard stone. They're, they're my sponsor, really. So. Uh, okay, so we got this. We're good to go. We should just be putting the transmission back on, our starter back on, and bolting up our drive axles, and we're good to go. So we'll do the drive axles. We'll put it back down to put the starter back in, because apparently that installs on the top. So we'll do that after we've got everything else done. And then we should be in good shape, and this customer's car should be ready to roll. And then uh, we can we can make some money. I guess, so. I don't think I'm gonna test drive it because I have test driven this car before. I've driven this car before, so I won't test drive it. Uh, but we should, at this point, 
be good once we get the starter in. We don't want to try to give it back to the customer without the starter. They uh, they won't be very happy, I imagine. Okay. Good. Let's give it a status check here. How we looking? Tapping sounds fixed. Filters happy. That stuff is good. Great. Wonderful. All right. So uh, let's just move it out. You know, I like to like to give one one last look at it. You know, before we send it back home. I wish we could have fixed the entire body because it's a little bit crummy looking, but. Uh, we spent $5,815, we're going to get a task bonus of $4,500, a job bonus $2,900, so we're going to make almost $14,000 for spending less than six, six grand. Finish order. So there it is. That is fixing a customer's Porsche 911 America. RS? RS America? I can't remember. Uh, but there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this or of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 or any of the other games I've been playing, be sure to subscribe. And either way, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. See ya.